Today, I'm doing a quick video on what I'm going to do to get this gel coat on the back of this 79 Centurion um, back in the shape. I have it all apart because I'm replacing the pump. I'm swapping out the old Dominator pump I have there with that new Berkeley that just got rebuilt and repainted. So why I have everything off, I took off the swim decks and you can see just from the years back here from the exhaust coming up and the years of this boat being used, it's pretty chalky, it's pretty faded. Um, it has a lot of just discoloration to it. I think most of that's from the exhaust coming up. So since it's a part, I'm gonna go ahead and get this all polished up looking new before I reinstall everything. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it down first with lacquer thinner because it's so dirty. And then I'll probably start from there. Um, probably start with an eight inch rotary and some Meguiar's 105 and just start polish it down and see what kind of results I get from that and what kind of coverage I have. And from there, I may need to switch down to some different tooling and get the other areas, but I'm kind of just gonna fly by the seat of my pants and see how it goes and see what results I get. So hang tight and let's see how this turns out. After one real quick pass with the Meguiar's 105, I did about halfway and you can see where I stopped right there. And same for all over here. Really made a difference pretty quickly. Um, this is what I'm using right here, just typical M105 Ultra Cut Compound. It's pretty aggressive. Um, just typical automotive refinishing stuff. Running on a wool pad and a rotary. Still some silicone left over, so I'm gonna go back through and clean off this silicone. And then I'm gonna hit the rest of this with the 105 in the areas I can because it's a pretty quick process. And then I'll probably switch down to a smaller orbital to get closer to this bump trim around the exhaust and to get it as clean up as I can. Coming out pretty good as I expected, so we'll keep trucking forward. halfway done here I got the entire backside all polished out with the wool pad and the McGuire's M105 I'm probably gonna go over it and just get the small areas um, you can see that we have gloss again really I don't need to go too much further with polishing it's nothing like a car I just need to get the polish back um, top side here is done so I'm just gonna work on the bottom as you can see, I got a little sidetracked and I uh, wanted to see if I could polish out these tips. For the exhaust, they're just raw aluminum. This is how it was. And I just took some of these wool pads here and some Meguiar's mag polish. Find it. Just some old Meguiar's polish here. And had it on a die grinder and it just took, oh, maybe three minutes or so. Um, get that all polished up real quick. So I'll probably hit the other side, do that now. And then I'll probably, once that's polished, it made quite a mess. I'll jump back to finishing the back side of this transom and then I can um, move on.
since I had the brackets for the swim steps off the boat, I took a minute to just get them polished up real quick. They are chromed. These ones I've already wiped down and that's as clean as they got. These two I've cleaned up with a little bit of steel wool and Neverdoll from Eagle One. So I wiped these down, like I said, with some lacquer thinner and that's as clean as they got. So then I went on to the quadruple zero steel wool, which is very fine here and a little bit of simple green and went to work on them. And then as what I was doing was going over with the Neverdoll to get it in the cracks and crevices and getting the rest of the chrome off. Uh, I need to go over them a little bit more and go over these. I have not even started on these, and then I'll get them back on the boat. But for the few minutes that I've invested, looks great. Well, here we are at the finished product. Took just a couple hours. Pretty happy with how it came out, especially the exhaust tips. I wasn't expecting that. Um, you can see here now, you can see that reflection that we have pretty good, pretty good shine and gloss drastically better than what it was so now that i got this cleaned up i can go ahead and finish getting this pump put back in get the swim steps put on get this boat buttoned up but man got the back of this polish it's making me excited to polish the rest of the boat it's looking good so that's all for this video guys thanks for watching please check out my other videos for the pump install the pump build, just various videos. Like, subscribe, comment if you have any comments to add, and I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you very much.